What up, people? Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about a single stack nine and 380. Or why I think those guns are one of the best, if not the best guns to own or must have guns. You know, I say single stack nine. I have a video of that. Um, check that out on my channel. But just to reiterate, a single stack nine is a, I think in my own opinion, and this is subjective, but for the most part, reasonable. Single stack nine are all around because you can hide it, carry it, you can, you know, use it for uh, home defense, target shooting, you know, all around gun. Not too big. Um, the snap and all that stuff that people talk about, those are subjective. And um, nine millimeter cartridge for a single stack nine, you know, cheap, effective round, been around long. I mean, you know, those things. Most importantly is, why did I add single stack? I mean, why did I add 380 in that equation? Now, I'm gonna tell you guys why. And all, obviously, some of you guys who are unit, you know, lacks of firepower and small caliber and it's a girl's gun or girl's caliber those are all bullshit those are all bullshit if you guys didn't know and i'm sure if you're watching this video you probably know a lot about guns and or maybe not a nine millimeter ammo and a 380 ammo is basically the same basically because they're both nine millimeter it's just that 380 is a little bit smaller, you know, lacks a little bit of powder. But this is most important. Is it effective? Is the 380 ammunition effective? Is it more than adequate firepower to stop a person? A 300 pound crackhead, as a lot of people tend to picture that image when, when they're defending themselves against I don't know why, but that's just, it comes up, I don't know why. A 300 pound crackhead. <laughs> I should name this video a 300 pound crackhead. Anyways, 380, I'm telling you right now, is more than adequate for self-defense, for home defense, for any of those. <sighs> a lot of people are in this bandwagon to where 380 lacks firepower. I don't have to prove it to you guys. I don't have to, to actually roll a tape me shooting a 380 or on a ballistic gel or a, on a dummy or on a person for that matter. YouTube has thousands of those. You guys could just pick and choose. All you have to do is just Google on YouTube, you know, 380 caliber effective or uh, is 380 reliable. You know, you can get those and you have tons of videos out there. But these are just my two cents for you all that are iffy about the infamous finicky 380. Because it is, it is finicky. Any 380 pistols, guns, they're finicky. It's just that way. Unlike 9mm. 9mm handgun, compact, subcompact, fucking mini pistols, if it's chambered at 9mm, 90% of the time, I would say 95% of the time, it's gonna work. If it's a 9mm pistol and you chain and you put a 9mm round in it, it doesn't matter what it is, aluminum case, steel case, brass case, it doesn't matter what you put in it. Realistically, it's gonna fire. You may have failure to feed or failure to eject here every now and then with a you know expensive guns, but just because those uh, malfunctions happen because you don't fucking follow the rules. You don't follow the description when, before the, when you purchase the gun. It has, a, it has a manual of what to feed in it. And that's why you get failures. But if you follow it, just like how you follow fucking driving rules when you get your driver's license, then you won't have no accident. You won't have any, you know, retarded mistakes. Granted, there's some crackheads out there that prevent you from doing all of the good things in life. But okay, anyway, a 380 handgun 
Yes, it is finished. But that doesn't really matter. Why? Because if you find the right ammunition for that handgun, for that 380 of yours, and just constantly buy that ammunition, stick with that one ammunition that works, then you won't have any failure to feed. You won't have any at all. Granted, some stores, they don't carry your shit. Then when you find one, when you do find one, especially the online days, there is nothing that you cannot find. You will find it, you know. Some people saying that, you know, oh, in my state or in my city, in my country, it's hard to find this kind of ammunition. You will find one. If you fucking search for it, you will look for it. If you look for it, you will find it. Okay? Um, 380 is one of the most underrated guns of all times. Maybe not back in the days. So back in the days, 380 was really popular. Hell, James Bond movies carries 380 and put people down, right? I'm just kidding. It's a movie. But realistically, you guys have heard. It's on the news. Hell, maybe you can, you can even Google it. 380 has killed a lot of bad guys, you know, and has even evenly killed and hurt a lot of good guys for the mistakes that retarded people fucking makes, you know. Um, 380, I think, is under power. I think if you were to have a gun, one gun only, for your significant other, or for yourself, or for your kids that are old enough to fire uh, a weapon, 380 is one of the best options out there. Why? Nobody would be bothered by a recoil by a 380. Nobody. I mean, nobody. Okay? Nobody. It's just a little lower power, lower powder than a 9mm cartridge. But it's more than adequate to do damage to anybody. Okay? Of course, you're not going to shoot a 380 on a fucking, uh, you know, 600 pound dude wearing fucking 10 vest. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna shoot like that. You're just not gonna go through, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, you're not gonna shoot a fucking 380 to a guy that's wearing a fucking, you know, Iron Man suit. You know what I mean? It's not gonna work. But for the everyday, average person, just wanna have themselves some firepower just in case shit happens. You know, as everybody says, shit hits the fan. Um, you know, I'll give you an example. I say you, you, a family man or uh, uh, going to movies with, a, with your wife and kids or going to a restaurant and you get mugged and stuff like that. 380 is more than adequate. You know, because most of the time, the bad guys that tend to come to the people, they tend to target har um, people that can't defend themselves and they didn't know you got a 380 out there. As soon as they hear the first shot, they're going to run off. Even if they did have, you know, a fucking... Desert Eagle, you'll be more accurate and more faster to shoot that, that than that 380 than him or her having a fucking 50, 50 caliber Desert Eagle. You'll be more accurate. Most of the guys that have 9mm, especially a Glock 19 or full size Glocks, full size guns for that, for that matter, they don't carry every day. They don't. Hell, I know guys with tons of fucking guns that carry the 380. Why is that? I don't know. Because it's just that fucking more comfortable to carry. And it's just that fucking accurate. You'll be 10 times more accurate than a 380 with a 380 than any fucking 9mm. And that's just realistic. You know, I want to tell you guys in my videos, I don't bullshit you. 9mm, it doesn't matter if you fire with a fucking 16 inch barrel, it's gonna fucking. Have you ever seen an AR pistol? Okay, chambered in 9mm. You know how much fucking recoil that shit is? Versus a fucking 223. But anyways. Getting off topic here. I say, if you want a gun for yourself and for your significant other, wife, girlfriend, kids, and you just desperately need a 380, I mean desperately need a 9mm, and you need desperately a gun for your significant other, but they don't want the snappy recoils of the 9mm, 
I say, get a 9mm and a 380. That's all you need. A single stack 9 and a single stack 380 will do you just fine. You know, if I could make a suggestion, a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield and a Glock 42, Glock 43, those are good guns. Those are not the best guns, but they're the good guns. Okay, hell, you can even have a Bursa, a Walter, or, or a freaking um, car. You know, three, car 380, that's a great gun. That's a good gun. You're not underpowered at all with a 380. Home defense, seriously, you can take, even if it has, oh, it only has 6 plus 1 round. Those 6 plus 1 rounds, I guarantee you, they're fucking more, 10 times more accurate than a 9mm chambered with 15 rounds. Okay? Some people say that, oh, no, I'm very accurate with 9mm, you know, I carry a full-size fucking gun with 30 rounds in the magazine. <sighs> Damn, it'll take you... Why do you, it'll take you 30 rounds to just put down a bad guy or stop him from doing harm to you? One or two bullets. Accuracy, people, accuracy. Shot placement. You'll be more accurate with a 380 than a 9mm any fucking day, any given day. Okay? If you want to have a gun, or if you want to have one gun only, and you just don't like the recoils, you know? You go to a gun store, you go to a gun shop, and you try a fucking... You know, you, you shoot a, a 9mm and you just don't like that snappy, especially like a Glock 43 or, or a M&P Shield or XDS, um, a Kimber, Kimber Solo, um, a Versa, Walter, Walter uh, HKs, those 9mm, those they will snap. There's no such thing as unsnappy 9mm. They will snap even if you chamber them in the damn rifle. They will snap. Matter of fact, they got more fucking snap in a rifle than in a goddamn 16 inch barrel. I mean, than in a, in a damn 4, 6 inch barrel. 9mm just snaps. But 9mm is so popular, and it's a, yes, it's a good cartridge. It's the best cartridge, I think, in my own opinion. But it's not for everybody, you know? And they say it's expensive. 380 ammunition is expensive. So, $2, $3 to, to save your family, to keep your family at peace. Is, is too much? No. And some people, oh, I don't want a 380 because it's hard to find. It's not hard to find. It's expensive. It's not expensive. You don't need a thousand rounds of 380 um, ammunition to go to the range with. You know, you fire, you buy two boxes, 100 rounds. 50 rounds of that box, you shoot. Okay? Even if you do it every weekend. You know, $12, $13, 50 rounds. Hell, it's not a lot. Yes, there are some ammunition out there that cost like $20, $30, but what is that? If you try to protect yourself and your family, that's nothing, you know? And you don't need, like I said, a thousand rounds to shoot and practice that weapon to your, to your satisfaction. 100 rounds, that's all you need. 50 rounds of practice and 50 rounds to carry at your house, you know? Not everybody is a fucking, you know, gun nut. They have like fucking 10 shotguns, you know, 6 ARs, fucking you know, 30 fucking bazookas, you don't need those, you don't need those, but if you're a, a, a gun collector, a gun owner, and you just love guns, then knock yourself out, but average person that wants to protect them, their, their family and themselves, and only looking for one or two guns, all you need is two, a single stack 9 and a 380, 380, you don't take my word for it, Go borrow a 380, go to a gun store, gun shop with those ranges, shoot a 380 and compare it with a fucking 9mm, any fucking 9mm, you know, even with a full size, heavy ass barrel, you know, heavy ass slide for all that fucking matter. It's gonna snap, it snaps. You guys seen videos of people shooting Glock 19s and full size 9mm, as heavy as they are, as big as they are, they, they still snap, you know. Some people, yeah, they just you know, have that control, but not everybody have the same um, grip, hand size, and, and just reaction to every gun. Not everybody's the same. I'm speaking to the people that don't really want gun, but needs one. Does that make sense? You know, 
they don't really like to play with guns, but they want one just in case shit hits the fan, you know, because with unemployment rates and all that shit, even though it's getting better, um, there's always going to be bad guys, no matter where you are. Hell, I was, I was, I was in Colorado, I think about 10 years ago. I got out of a, a restaurant and there was two dudes, man, they just tried to mug me. As a matter of fact, they tried to talk shit to me and try to start something. And he pulled out a fucking, you know, he pulled out, I think, a knife or something like that. And um, I was with my buddy, we were fishing, and I thought I saw a knife. And, um, you know, he tried to pull up to me, and they were coming forward towards me, and I pulled up, <laughs> put up a 380. I pulled out a 380, and that was it, man. It was, it was the end of it. But for people to say that 380 is not enough firepower, it's more adequate, it's baby, it's a girl's gun, it's not, it's actually a good gun. It's a good caliber, you know. Uh, you can be more accurate with a 380 than a 9mm, trust me. Like I said, almost, almost nobody, almost nobody will be bothered by a 380. May I suggest? The uh, car, the car 380, the Bursa, or the Glock 42, try those out. You'll be very glad you did. For the guys that, you know, want to have a, a, a carry pistol and you go to a gun shop, gun store, and say that you want a gun, you just got your CCW, for example. You just got your permit to carry. Most of the fucking store will fucking offer you a Glock 19 and all around gun. Most of them. Most of them. You know? Because they want to sell you that fucking gun. You know? Then you find out days later, maybe weeks later, that it's very uncomfortable. It's big and it's snappy. You're not accurate with it. You know? 380 guns out the box. Find out what ammunition that works for that gun. And man, it's just a dream to shoot. It's fun to shoot actually on the range. And people say, oh, it's not a, 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 it's not a range gun. It is, it is. Nobody be bothered by the recall of that fucking gun, man. And it's enough firepower. And plus your accuracy would be more better, if not the best, than a nine millimeter. If a 300 pound crackhead comes after you and you pull out a 380, even if that motherfucker has a 30 caliber, rifle or whatever fucking you know a 50 caliber handgun desert eagle with a 380 you hit him in the fucking face and it's done and guess what you will be able to hit that motherfucker in his face with a 380 why because you're more accurate with it versus a fucking nine millimeter you might fucking miss that's why you need all those 15 rounds and it's heavy it's uncomfortable trust me i've carried those If I, could only, uh, if I could have a gun that I could carry all the time, it would be a 380. 380, doesn't matter. A fucking 380, you know, handgun is better than carrying a fucking stick. You know, carrying a pepper spray. No. I refuse to carry a pepper spray. I just, I, I don't know. Even though a lot of women carry those things, Maybe because they can't carry a gun and stuff like that, that's cool, you know, something is better than nothing. But if you're in a market of trying to look for something to carry and, and, and very comfortable and accurate with it, 380, man, it, it, you cannot beat it. You don't have to take my word for it. Go shoot it. You know, you go borrow somebody's 380 and see how accurate we, you with that gun compared to the 9mm guns, you know. Don't get on to the hypes, man, on all these YouTube channels and all these guys talking about 9mm, there's no recoil. There is a recoil. The 9mm is the best ammunition. No, it's not. No, it's not. 380 has been around so long. And I don't know why that 380 sometimes is hard to find for some people. They're all over the place. Okay? If you want, I'm going to give you a suggestion. And this is really honest. And I've practiced this and I've talked to guys and I've shot this ammunition. And it fires 100% to any gun, to any fucking gun, okay? If you have a 380 and you want that motherfucker to just function, function, 
properly and accurately and not to worry about anything. It may not be the cheapest ammunition out there, but it sure damn well will fire. I suggest to you, carry a Hornady XTP hollow points, okay? On fucking, on all your 380s and it will fire, whether you have a Kimber that is finicky with only um, high priced quality ammunition, because Hornady is quality, so, or carrying a Glock, it doesn't matter, it's gonna fire. Again, it's Hornady XTP. I think it's the best ammunition out there. Granted, there's some people that would contradict me and, and disagree. That's fine, that's fine. You know, if you have a gun right now, a 380 right now, that you know, the thing that works with, with Mag Tech or fucking Buffalo Bore or, or PMC or federal, that's fine, that's all, it's okay. Like I said, if there's some people out there that have never shot before or really looking for something that they don't have to test fire a thousand rounds, you know, it gets annoying. You know, you go to a gun shop, oh, I got this gun, I don't know what's gonna work with it, so let me buy this, 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 this. And now you have 10 boxes, only one of them works in your gun. You know what I'm saying? So this is, it's, uh, it saves you time and money. Um, if you know, if you, if you don't know what your gun is going to fire, it's brand new out of the box. You've never fired this gun that you bought. You just like it because you bought it because it's cool looking. You know, it fits your hand. Um, and, you know, it, it just attracted you and you bought it. And you don't know what works with it. Buy a Hornady XTP and you, you just not going to, you're not going to regret it. Okay. And um, if you must have two guns, because you're a dude, you know muscular you want to have you don't want to call sissy carrying a 380 because what people say then and, and you want one for your significant other that's you know smaller built um even if you are a smaller build then get a, a single stack nine a glock 43 and a glock 42 those are just a good combos you know or a mmp shield you know in a car or you know something that matter that's all you need you know, give the 380 to your wife, and she or she, your wife or girlfriend, significant other, they will not be bothered with that recoil. They will love that gun. You know, granted, some wives are bigger than others, and some wives have shot more. But those guys, those wives probably are experienced. They have, you know, a lot of range time. You know, when you get your range time in you in in, a, in years, then then you can upgrade. You could always upgrade. You know, you can never downgrade. You could always upgrade. Actually, you can downgrade because that's what most guys like myself and other people do. You know, you bought you bought into this hype to where you gotta have nine millimeter to forty caliber, forty five caliber, fifty caliber, all this stuff to to where people are now fucking carrying AR pistols. You know, what I mean? they don't even carry a handgun anymore. They want to carry a fucking ARs and break it down because you can break the stuff and put them in your backpack. It's not comfortable. You know, it, it is. It really isn't. You know, it, it's. It's good to have, it's nice to have, you know, peace of mind, but and they call it, you know, truck gun nowadays. That's cool. If you want to know, that's cool. But for some people that are not really into guns, but they just need one or just must have one just in case, don't, it's crazy that people suggest that they must have a nine millimeter. You don't have to have a nine millimeter, you know, you're not going to be accurate with it, especially if you're not experienced, you know, it takes time to get experience even with a nine millimeter fucking blazer 115 grain full metal jacket that thing has almost really really you know small recoil it's still it's got recoil it's not no recoil you know but 380 is just it shoots fine you're more accurate with it and trust me you'll like the gun you know and that's when people start upgrading because you already have you know, because you, you know, people that upgrade to 9mm from 380s because they got so confident. Because 380 is just that much fun to shoot. You know, you will not be bothered by that recoil. And you're not underpowered by any means. Never seen any bad guy fucking stand in front of 380. Never seen anybody for that matter say, you know what, shoot me with 380, I don't care. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen, man. <laughs> Especially when you're so accurate about a, a, a three, I see motherfuckers that can shoot 380 in 100 yards. You know, 380, 100 yards, headshot. In a dummy, obviously. But yeah, it accurately, it's accurate. Imagine having a self-defense of about seven yards, that's what it is. 
You know, that's what the statistics say. Seven yards. Seven yards with a 380, you can hit that motherfucker in the face ten times twice. You know what I mean? Ten fucking any given day, you can shoot that motherfucker in the face. Any given day. Because you just, you can, won't be bothered by recoil and it's so much easier to conceal and so light recoil, it's just, you're accurate with it. You're telling me that you can't put down a fucking 300 pound crackhead with two 380 bullets in the face, even one. There's something wrong, you shouldn't be owning a fucking a gun at all if you can't hit nobody with a 380. Hell, even a 22 for that matter, just carry. You know what I mean? You'd be more accurate with a 22 than a fucking 380. You tell me you can't put down a 300 pound crackhead with two or three shots in the face, even one shot in a fucking, you know, shot placement, people. In the face, in a head, headshot. A headshot, imagine. Any head of a human body, it's bigger than a bullseye. And most of you motherfuckers out there can shoot a bullseye, you know? Shit. I don't, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. A face is a face. A head is a head. You shoot them anywhere in there, any fucking where. No matter if you are a fucking hundred pound or you're a thousand pound, a thousand pound dude or a woman, whatever, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. Even if it was a fucking a bad person, a bad guy, on crack, on crystal meth. Yeah, if you shoot him in the body with a 380, a 22, yeah, maybe, maybe you may be able to move. You shoot him in the face with a 380, I don't think so. I don't think so. If you wanna have a self-defense weapon, home weapon, fucking concealed carry weapon, target practicing, and you don't want to be bothered by a recoil at all, get a 380. If you just want one gun, you want two guns, one for you, one for your significant other, then get both. You know, two guns, one 9 mil for you because you're a dude and you just refuse to carry a 380. I don't know why, but 380 is more than adequate for self-defense. Try it out. It's my last thing to you guys. Try it out. Try out the Glock 43 and the Glock 42, or a car, the Bursa, uh, MP Shield. Try those guns. Single stack nine and a 380. You're very surprised. You love those guns, and you, you know you actually have so much fun shooting a 380 that you that you probably gonna upgrade to something that's oh this is too easy i want a bigger gun you know that's because you started with a 380 because you you liked it so much then you go upgrade and you find out oh this fucker is too snappy i want to move down you know <laughs> a lot of these guys that talk to you guys about you know getting a glock 19 all around gun no it's not it's not it's too big it's too thick and <laughs> some people say that you can conceal it <laughs> no those are all lies man that's just a bad advice <laughs> It's bad advice for people that are wanting a, fire, a, a handgun and you're going to recommend a Glock 19 right off the bat. I don't even recommend a Glock 26 in, in, that, in, that, in that size because uh, there's other thick subcompacts out there. A lot of thick subcompacts out there that holds 10 rounds or more. You know, um, the Walter, the... Uh, uh, Beretta, PX4, subcompacts, uh, the Glock 26, Glock 27, um, those, those are subcompact guns, examples of them, there's plenty out there, but they're thick, they're too thick, they're like a brick in your hand, and imagine that on your hip, you know, you're gonna need a gun belt, hell, you carry a 380 or a single stack 9, slim line, you wanna have to change the way you, you dress, you wanna, I, ca I carry those in my regular fucking belt. Regular fucking belt. You don't need a special belt. You don't need special gloves to operate them. You don't need... Hell, 380, man. You don't really need to aim, so to speak. You just point the motherfucker, you know? Granted, point and aim the same. But, you know what I'm saying? A 9... You see motherfuckers that shoot 9mm, right? 
um, full size or, or compact guns, uh, like uh, 50, 100 yards, whatever, 75 yards, and they're accurate with it. But how much time do they take to hit that fucking bullseye? Hell, even, even fucking Jerry Michelek aims at the fucking target. Have you ever seen Jerry Michelek fucking shoot a, a Glock 42? Google it. Jerry Michelek shoots a Glock 42. Okay? See how fast he shot that fucking weapon, that Glock 42, um, with no, almost no recoil. Okay? And how accurate he was with it. Versus a stock 9mm. Okay, don't, don't buy into the hype of I must have this. You know, if you ask me, yeah, I might say, you know what? If you have a handgun, you know, you know, you come up to me and you say, because, you know, at work, people ask me this all the time. Hey, June, you know, and I tell them, you know, just get a 380, man. That's all you need. No, no, that's for women. Da, 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 da. Then I don't say nothing. And then one guy bought a Glock 19 and later on downgraded to fucking Glock 43 and to even an MP shield and an XDS, a matter of fact, because he, he was too big for him. He wasn't carrying it at all. I don't know. What do I know? Like I said, I'm not a professional. I was in the military for 13 years and been around guns. Just started, actually, uh, years, uh, you know, six, seven years, give or take. You know, just started being really interested in carrying it and, and playing with guns. But been around gun, like I said, but you know, I never really had the the knack of it, you know, knack for, for just owning a bunch of them, you know, I just, you know, it's fun to have a lot of guns if that's what you're into, that's cool, but not all of us want a hundred guns, they just want, just in case shit that hits a fan, you know, gun under your bed, under your pillow, or in a drawer, or in a fucking table or something, you know, just, it's there, it's in your car, it's in your body, and, it doesn't bother you, it doesn't hinder you from doing things that you normally do, it doesn't have to, you know, who the fuck wants a, a Glock 19, for example, um, or a full-size guns, for the matter, compact guns, that holds 15 plus one rounds, but then you have to change the way you live, the way, the way you dress. Now you're gonna have to have a nice clothes, but have a fucking gun belt. It doesn't, you know, you have to have a suit well, with a fucking gun belt, because you can't carry that fucking 19 without a, a proper gun belt. A lot of people say that, need a good gun belt. No, you don't. Not with a 380. You fucking wear it just like a fucking anything else. Hell, you can even carry it in your pocket, you know, without having to change the way you live. No. You want a fucking pistol? Mm, this is my suggestion to you guys. You want, you want a pistol to just shit hits the fan in case? Um, 380 is, is more than adequate. You know, you just want one gun, or even if you want only one gun, but you have a significant other, you're not single, you have a significant other, a wife, you know, whatever, and you want one gun that won't be bothered by you or her, then 380 is the way to go, trust me, you know, they won't, no, nobody would complain about shooting a 380. Most people that complain about 380 are the guys that probably listen to other people that has decades of experience with it, you know what I mean? 